try and calm down, try and breathe. Oh. Have a shot, just try and breathe. Oh, please help me. I know, how old, how old is oh. Ali? She's only 23, I mean, you're just coming, I've got an accident, an absolute psychopath. Alice was one of these people who always had a smile on her face. She knew the things that were going to make people feel happy. She always understood what you were thinking, what you were doing. She always knew the right thing to say. He took her to places. He bought her presents. He was trying very hard. He was a real gentleman. It didn't seem malicious at the time. As the relationship moved on, strange things started happening. She started to lose friends. He used all sorts of things to persuade her. She didn't have enough money, she shouldn't go out. She started to lose weight, she started to lose self-confidence. She'd had to talk to him constantly. She couldn't wear what she wanted to wear. She could only wear what he thought was appropriate for her to wear. He was starting to control her. And all the time what he was doing was gradually making her more and more dependent on him. That was when his controlling behaviour turned to stalking. She was worried someone had got into her phone um, and put some spyware on her Android phone. So I talked her through how she could get it fa all factory reset. And then things started escalating, which was when uh, Trimmon turned up at the house. There was this knock on her window. And when she pulled back the curtains, he was outside and he'd just left a box of chocolates and some flowers on the windowsill and was backing off with his hands like this. Um, I just need a bit of advice really, um, more than anything. I split up with my boyfriend about three months ago. Since then, I know that he's hacked into my Facebook and also my phone. He's been sending me a lot of messages even though I've asked him not to contact me. And then tonight, he knocked on my bedroom window at the back of my ground floor flat. He's been outside and he, he's like left um, some flowers and chocolates on the like outside window. So I'm like, he walked off, he's not done anything, but I'm concerned. And my friends have been telling me to call the police. I've been putting that off, but I just feel a bit like shaken up tonight. On the night, he then sent her a couple of voicemail messages. One of those said in it, I'm not going to kill you. Why would you think I'll kill you? I wouldn't kill you. Although he was talking about it in the negative context, you know, I'm not going to kill you. There's definitely a veiled threat. When he mentions not killing you about 10 times in this voicemail, which is really weird. Somebody's been issued with a pen so that they, they can't contact me. However, I've had a letter off them. So you are reporting like, the picture, the picture of the pen. What was the nature of it? Was it like threatening or was it harassing? No, um, not threatening. It just it's just saying that he, he knows I called the police on him and he's had everything confiscated. It says at the bottom he won't contact. Me, so, you know this will be the last I hear from him. But he's, he's said that a lot of times and it, he, he never does seem to stop. After that second phone call, she was so depressed because she thought that the stalking was just going to go on forever. Alice jokingly said, oh, well, you know, what if he broke into my house and killed me? And I was like, no, no, that'll never happen. You know, as me thinking this is ridiculous. He came back on the cloth and just a bit after he was waiting in his car and she came back from work. And then Trimmon had come and broken into the house. Climbed in through a window and he, he, he cut her throat in the bathroom. Alice was, was um, lying on the floor in the bathroom, coming in blood. When she rang me up, I said, well, I'm sure the police know what's happening and you've just got to ignore him. If you keep ignoring him, he'll leave you alone. And of course, that was really bad advice because he was never going to leave her alone. I have really struggled remember it because obviously I know what I did wrong and I know what I should have said and I know what I should have done and I know that I failed Alice. So, yeah, that's pretty horrible. If these sorts of things are happening to you, that is stalking. It's a crime 
The police have to take it seriously. The law needs to change so that she does have the protection that she deserved. I mean, Alice did what she was supposed to do. She did She did contact the police, she, she'd uh, reported everything. In Alice's case, Truman had past history, a restraining order against him because he'd been stalking another girl. Now, if Alice had known that at the beginning of the relationship, it would have changed whether she'd gone into a relationship with him and it would definitely have changed how she behaved at the end of it. This is still happening and we've not learned from these mistakes. It's not just that it's psychologically damaging and horrendous, it's, it's very, very dangerous.